Working with electricity includes a risk of shock, death, electrocution, and fire. Proceed at your own risk. This information is presented in good faith and is by no means a form of warranty or guarantee expressed or implied. I am simply a DIY person. I am not an electrician. And if you do not feel confident in any steps of this process that is shown to you, do not attempt it in the slightest. In this video, I'll be showing you how to replace one of these switches here with a dimmer switch. I'll put a link in the description below of where you can get these. It's actually a pretty good deal. It's a two pack and it comes with a frame plate. The other thing you want to make sure that you know is if you need a single pole or a three way switch. What that means is if your switch or if your light can be turned on from two different switches in the room, that is a three way or three pole switch. Um, this is just, this room just has one light switch, so it's a single pole. And these dimmer switches are both single and three way. So you just want to make sure that whatever dimmer switch you are buying, you know what you need because it may just only be a single pole. Let's get started. The first thing you want to do is turn the lights off at the breaker switch. And so what you want to do just to absolutely make sure, go to your breaker, turn off the switch and then test it to see if it turns on or off. Okay, here we are at the breaker box. Uh, this one's located in my furnace room. Typically they're labeled and numbered. So here you can see uh, the basement bedroom, which is number six. And before you flip this switch, you want to make sure that, it, like if you have a computer that's plugged in, make sure you shut it down or whatever. I've done all that, so we're going to go ahead and just flick it that way. And we'll go back in that room. All right, it's much darker in here with the electricity off but the lights aren't coming on or off so you know that the power is out now it helps you want to have a flashlight if you don't have any windows and to take off this cover plate I'm just using a small flathead screwdriver okay at this point there are two screws that hold in the actual switch and these screws accommodate a Phillips screwdriver and a flathead screwdriver. So if you're having trouble with one tool, you can try a different one. Okay, with both screws out, you can go ahead and pull the switch out. Now, the electrical wires are connected to the switch. The one that's bare copper which is this one right here it's typically connected to a green screw that's a gr uh, ground then you have these two here now if you're not sure which is which as these are have been sprayed with the paint so it's covered you can just pay attention for example this switch right here says common and this one is the ground because it's bare. There's no insulation on it. So just pay attention to where they're placed on this switch and then match it to the labels on your new switch. Okay, so the first thing that we'll do here is unscrew the ground, which is the bare copper wire. And sometimes it has paint on it. So you just want to make sure that it is clean. And this dimmer switch has wires coming out of it. So we'll go green to the bare copper. So you just wrap this wire around the other wire like that. And then you use a wire nut 
and just twist it on until it feels nice and tight. And then kind of give it a pull, see if, see if it pops off. But it should be snug and secure like that. <clears throat> now, if I had a three pole switch, I would be using both of these red wires. However, it's just a single pole, so we are just using one red and one black. Some of these switches may have color-coded screws. This does not. But as long as you get your, your ground accurate, which is the easiest thing to do, you just don't want to ever connect a white wire to a black wire. So you can see there's white wires in there. They're not even connected to the switch because all you're really doing in a switch is connecting these two black wires together or disconnecting them. That's how the switch works. But if you connect it to the white wire, a black to the white, you're going to get some sparks for sure. Okay, I've somewhat straightened the black wire out. We'll go ahead and wrap this around and then get the wire nut. And we'll give it a pull on each one, make sure they're nice and snug. And then we have the last one to go here. And for these, I'm just using a Phillips screwdriver. All right, and then we just screw that on. Now this one here, we are just going to stick on this nut just to further insulate this bare wire because we're not using it. So just like that, then we'll go ahead and stuff all of this back into the wall, aligning the screws up there. And then the only other thing you want to make sure that you're doing is one, screwing in the switch straight, but also knowing which way is on and which way is off. You don't want to put your switch in upside down. Okay, it just takes some nudging here and there to make sure you're getting it lined up just right. Because as you screw it in, it kind of shifts here and there. All right, now it's time to apply the cover plate, and this comes in two parts. Uh, there's an inside part that you actually screw on to this metal frame, and then you pop the other part on. And there's typically, at the bottom, little slots for you to put a screwdriver in, just in case you want to remove it or do any kind of changes. So you just want to make sure that those screwdriver slots are facing down. It just looks a lot nicer. Okay, so we'll go ahead and put this cover plate on. Screw it in at the top. And then at the bottom. Okay, once you have that in place, you can apply your cover plate. Okay, now we can just go over here and turn the breaker switch back to the on position. And there you have it. That's how to install a dimmer switch. If you liked this video or it was helpful for you, could you please rate this video and also leave a comment in the section below. Let me know how it went. Thanks for watching. Bye.